going to do a few foot exercises now. I want you to imagine the hands of my feet so you're not actually looking at my feet. Obviously, you would be barefoot to do this. So try to imagine that you're separating out your toes as wide as you can and then bring them back to relax. It sounds easy, but just have a go. You'll feel all the muscles in the arch of your foot trying to work here, as well as the toes. So we spread them out, wide as you can, and relax them back. Spread, imagine if you've had a pedicure and they use those little things that separate out your toes. You're trying to achieve that without putting anything in between your toes. So it takes quite a bit of concentration. Last one, spread and relax. And then just curl and stretch your toes gently. This next exercise, again, imagine that I've got bare feet and you're going to try and scrunch up your toes to pick up a tissue off the floor. So this is my foot, here's the tissue, and we're going to actually scrunch it with the toes, lift the foot, and then pop the tissue down, then scrunch, lift, and place it back. So what we're doing is this claw action we're having to use that as we lift and place, relax, scrunch, lift and release. And just having that tissue gives you the focus on being able to lift and place, lift and place. And so you're working again all the muscles, the ligaments and tendons around your toes and your ankles. And that's very important for good balance. The next exercise we're going to do helps with ankle flexibility and stability. It looks easy, but you've really got to focus on doing it well, isolating the ankles if you can. So feet hip width apart, and we're going to rock gently onto the outside of the shoe or foot, back to centre, and rock onto the inside and back. But the trick is not to take the knees in and out. So place your hands on your legs and try and keep them as still as you can. And rocking onto the inside and outside of the foot. And your feet here, you're gently stretching around the ankle, which is very helpful when you're walking over uneven ground. Don't force that action. It's very, very small. Just do what feels natural. Do five on each side and build up to maybe doing 10. 